today's plan. Okay. So uh, I will first uh, explain the upcoming lectures, lectures plan, and then um, I'll talk a little bit about the mock um, or potential mock, uh, I should say, but I will I'll explain that. And um, I will talk about the review lectures at the end, what we'll do there. Um, and I'll briefly, I won't go through the whole document because you guys have, already, have that already, but I'll briefly um, ask you if you have any questions for the final exam. Um, so while, we're, while I'm going through the, the, the first few items, I just uh, think of if there's any questions you want to ask. Um, and um, yeah, and then we'll jump into today. So I'll go through these logistics first. So I want to do this in the beginning because these are uh, quite important. So I just want to make sure uh, we have everything here. So for the first, um, 30 minutes or 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes, up to 30 minutes. Just want to go through these first, okay? So, um, all right, so the lecture plans um, coming up. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And uh, you have your discussion sessions um, sort of at noon for Tuesday and Thursday. This is where you have test four and test five. And uh, we have a couple of lectures in the evening as well. All right, so today, um, we will, uh, I'll go through a few problems. And as I said in Slack, uh, I also want to fill in one problem about capacitors that might or might not come up tomorrow. <laughs> um, uh, so you might want to take notes when you get to that. Um, and also go through a few topics in the last couple of topics in, um, let's see, I was gonna bring up the syllabus, but just the last chapter of uh, ENM um, of electromagnetism. So uh, that will, the, that should last these two lectures. But I think I will end sort of halfway between here and I would, the last bit, um, so the content wise, I think by half of tomorrow night's lecture, I should be able to finish most of the material. In fact, I might even finish majority of it today, um, depending on how fast or slow we go. Uh, so that is, um, ENM is, uh, what did I call it? I think I call it chapter 18, I believe. Uh, and then the last bit, I'll uh, do a few problem solvings. So um, to get you, um, hopefully that'll be helpful as well to be more comfortable with the, with, with these um, problems uh, because basically you won't get a full discussion session. So uh, basically the next couple of days, um, I will go through, uh, I'll also go through some more problems. So almost act like a substitute discussion session um, uh, because you won't have a full discussion session this week. So there'll be more problems and I'll go through that in a second. Um, in fact, uh, should I go through it now? Yeah, let me go through it now actually. So, um, so there's two ways to do reviews, right? Re there's one way is just to, uh, for me to go through the key ideas of the topic and, and start talking and write down key equations. But another way I think, which might be more interesting for, which might be more helpful for you guys is if I go through more problem solvings. So this is what I'm thinking. Uh, as you know, the practice exams are, um, the, the practice uh, short answer questions are basically good representations of the real short answer questions. And then the um, additional homework, the end of chapter problems, especially the one that I um, eliminate or that I narrowed it down hand, uh, to like just around 40% of the end of chapter problems, um, because some of them are uh, probably way too difficult for the level. So I just um, handpicked those uh, ones. So those would be good practice for the open response. Right? So we all know this already. Right? So um, instead of me going through, I, because I don't know which ones you guys are comfortable with, which ones are not comfortable with, um, instead of me um, going through a problem which you might or might not even have seen it before or might, not, might or might not be helpful to you, um, I would uh, I, I set up this um, survey, which is an open poll, and you guys can submit uh, problems in here and, uh, and vote on them. So uh, basically what you can do is if you, while you're studying for the next couple of days, I think I'll keep this, um, I'll send you guys the link, I'll probably put it uh, on the canvas uh, soon. Um, I'll probably put it on the lecture page actually, and I'll send you a Slack um, announcement for that. So you can, um, in the next few days, next couple of days, Monday, so tonight, starting from tonight, uh, as soon as the lecture's done, I'll give you guys this link. Um, you can, uh, yeah, see which ones you find difficult um, and you want me to go through it, um, that you couldn't get a good answer from Piazza or whatever, and you can submit it over here. So uh, if it's an end of chapter problem, um, try to keep it in the same format so it's easy to look. So if you want, for example, chapter 27, problem 16, um, just type in 27, uh, 16, like that, and then send answer. You can send as much as many as you like. I should have made it open so that you can submit as much um, as you like, uh, you can have multiple submissions. Um, if it's from a practice test you want me to go through, uh, write down practice which 
number and which question. If it's the actual test uh, that you want me to go through one of the actual test problem, use this format. Um, so if you have a new problem and then you see some, uh, you want to submit, before you submit a new one, just check that, um, just check that some, if someone else has suggested that already. If they have, then you can just vote in and uh, click send answer like this. Uh, let me try this actually, since these are examples. Yeah, so as soon as you do that, um, yeah, you can see that you have voted on this. So as a result, on the last two lectures, basically I can dedicate those to go through and look at the highest voted ones. Um, so that means hopefully most people have the same question, right? Then I can go in order. I probably won't be able to go through everything suggested, but I'll go and prioritize and go through in order which one you guys suggest. What do you guys think of this format for the last two lectures? I think I can still do a, or let me know in the chat. Uh, if, you, if you prefer me to go through the concepts more, um, discuss more, or do you like, this uh, idea here, just to get some feedback. I don't know, sometimes be good to see. Yeah, good. All right, good. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Okay, um, I might still do a quick big picture overview and maybe keep that under 20 minutes just to sort of tie everything together and then dedicate the rest to do this. Okay, yeah. So um, yeah, so after just to show you guys, so you can, let's see, um, you can donate to this cat. <laughs> uh, you can change your answer. And let's say now you have a different one. I think I can delete it, but just to give you an uh, example, for example, you're working on 20, chapter 21 problem. I'm just making this up, 12, and then you can send this in and if you want to vote this again. So you see a, a new one would be, that makes no sense. I think it's just a bug. Um, oh, I've changed my answer, that's right. Uh, I think it, you might need to um, just read fresh the link, I think. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll make the instructions clear on, on Canvas how to submit new ones. So let's say now you want to submit another one. Um, let's say problem 17, send answer. So we should have to, I think as admin, I can delete this, yeah. Um, yeah, so you see the, if you don't click change your answer, sorry, if you want to submit a new one. So just refresh the page or go to the link and hit enter again, refresh the page. Um, so now you see that uh, there will be two over here. You can view, view results first if you want. Um, and then you can see, yeah, how many have that. Okay, so, and if you are a different person and then you come in and then you saw, oh, I have the same question as well, then you just click this. And I think if you send answer, um, yeah, so now I can see who, which one is voted. So I'll, I'll trust you guys. I mean, we are, uh, we're all trying to achieve the same goal, trying to learn as well as possible. So I'll trust you guys, don't, don't try to spam. Technically you can just go back and forth and spam this and make your particular vote on the top. Um, but you know, I'll trust you guys don't do this. So everyone has a fair chance. Okay. I think this is the admin link, which I can delete that, those two test examples later. Okay, I'll do that later. All right, um, it took me a while to find, it's not, the most prettiest website, but it took me a while to find a website where I can, where students can actually, where, where it's open answer, um, so it's an open poll, where you can actually submit your own, your own choice, not, um, not just vote on pre-existing choice. So it's not the prettiest website, but bear with that. Okay, good. All right, um, which brings me to, okay, the question about Mark. Um, I am, uh, so this is something I used to do when I teach uh, summer sessions before. Um, I always, I try to, if, um, because final exam is a big deal, as you guys know, um, it's 50% of the course, which basically is a holistic test of uh, cumulative all your knowledge. Have you learned everything well, right? So the, while the test, topic tests are semi-low stakes, um, uh, just on, uh, it's sort of almost immediately after the week that you've learned the stuff. Um, so the percentage is not as high. Uh, so it gives a chance that even if you have or your physics background is not as good, but you will work very hard over this quarter, which I saw a lot of you are just from evidence from Piazza, um, just working a, a very hard doing a lot of problems at the end and you do well, I think that's gonna be okay. Um, the problem is, uh, you, you, you know, you might have an off day, you might uh, not perform ex, uh, too well on the last day. So um, I used to always try to, whenever I teach, I try to give a mock exam, which um, is sort of like an MSD grade, where if you uh, actually perform well, um, better here, uh, it gives you a sort of a safety net chance uh, that you can do, um, you can still fall on this grade. And also, I think the main idea is so that you know what to expect and you do it once and you sort of get a grade yourself and you'll know that um, 
oh, I actually am very weak at this. I need to brush, I need to make use of the next five days, uh, one, two, three, four, four days to, to really brush up myself. So uh, it's, for, it's really for your um, self-evaluation. Um, if you don't do too well here, in principle, that is completely fine. It's in, in some sense the purpose of this because I don't expect you to do, I, I would expect everyone to do better on the next four days because you have uh, the four or five days to, to prepare. Is that five days? Something's blocking my view. Okay, yeah, five days to, to prepare. So I would expect everyone to do, actually do better here uh, for the reason just you have more time. And um, however, uh, I need to confess that um, doing, getting everything prepared online is extremely, extremely uh, time consuming and difficult. So I'm trying my best to make that possible for you guys. Um, and uh, this is what I want to say for now, what I can promise for now. Um, in the bare minimum, what I'll be able to do is to provide you with a, a practice test. I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely pr produce a, a almost like a complete final exam test with however many short answer questions, or however many uh, open response that is um, designed for 70 minutes length um, and, then, um, and then 10 minutes of submission time like that. Um, so the minimum I will, I will do is produce that for you guys to, to practice at home, even if I cannot do this. The maximum I can do for you guys is actually um, me sitting here and make it an optional um, mock final that uh, you, you don't have to show up if you like. Um, so, um, but uh, I'll, I'll sit here and actually proctor you for an hour and a half um, and you'll uh, do all this. Now, it is impossible for all the TAs to grade so many things here. Um, it's just uh, beyond that. So it will, unfortunately, if I can achieve this, the maximum side of this spectrum, um, it will be a canvas quiz. Um, that means there's no partial credits, all right? Um, which is also a reason that you probably won't do as well as the final. The fi I expect everyone to do better in the final, but this is a good practice, right? Uh, there's a question here. So if there's a mock final and then the better grade of the two finals would be used for the final grade. Yes, exactly, yeah. So the better, um, if, I can, if I can get the, so the, the, what's the determining factor is um, in the next three days, can I, can I translate it into a Canvas quiz, um, which um, I will uh, confirm you guys by tomorrow's lecture, okay? So please don't hate me if I cannot achieve this, so that's why I don't want to set in stone. At the moment, I think I, should, I might be able to, I just don't want to say it out loud. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully, um, yeah, uh, don't hate me if, if I cannot, and the, the best I can do is just give you the, the practice final, okay? So what I'm envisioning is, um, yeah, so what I'm envisioning is that uh, this is what I was trying to create. Um, uh, I, I will call this like a mock exam. And then, um, so what you will do is you go to assignment and then, no, it's not open notes. Uh, I want to make it as, as basically a, the real final, right? Um, and then hopefully that would appear under here. But um, by then uh, at 8 a.m., um, you can go to click on the right one. I'll, I'll make, I'll rename it and make it prettier. Um, and then you'll see this. So you'll see just a simple, you know, this is a mock exam. And then uh, just like the topic test, it's almost exactly the same procedure. You'll click download and then you'll get the test paper, right? So you have the test paper in front of you. Um, uh, you can, yeah, you can bring a cheat sheet. Um, I, I guess I'll explain more about the cheat sheet. Uh, and uh, just treat it basically like a final exam. And in front of you, write in, in, in line papers all your, all your partial credits, all your steps, all your workings, all your solution. So for the first 70 minutes, don't treat it as a canvas quiz at all, okay? So in the first 70 minutes, do it almost exactly as a final exam. So treat it like a try run. This is what, they, like, this is basically the purpose of it, right? And then in the last 10 minutes, instead of now turning on your phones and then taking pictures and then uploading, instead of using that, the last 10 minutes, go and translate your answers onto these multiple choice. So the canvas can grade it automatically without the TA grading it, right? So um, let me reiterate this. I would probably expect everyone to do worse on the mock than the final, but that is the point, right? It's to give you the try run, not only for the, uh, for, uh, yeah, for, for two reasons, for, because it's one earlier, and secondly, there's no partial credits given. But the point is to give you a trial of the, at least the first 70 minutes should be identical in the final, and also you get a sense of how well you're doing at the moment, and how should you schedule your next five days of studying uh, to, to, and you know where your strengths and weaknesses are. So that's the point. Let me see what are the questions so far. Um, so, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, is there any chance we received the mock exam results before? Yeah, I, so the, yeah, if, if I can set this up, right? So um, as soon as you submit, I think um, you can just get it automatically graded right away. Uh, so um, I'll probably fill in something more, more that makes more sense. So in the short answer questions, I'll probably make it like a multiple choice. So um, 
if you're, let's say, what's a good short answer question? Um, let's say define, um, define voltage. Uh, and then one answer is uh, force, one answer is potential difference. And you go, okay, potential difference should be the right answer. Let's say this one says potential difference. I think I made answer two. Yeah, so let's say this says potential difference is voltage, is the definition of voltage. Okay, so you click on this. Um, and then in the open response question, um, you'll just put it in. Uh, I, think I, made, right, I think the right answer is two. And then I gave some, uh, I'll put some uh, um, range over there. So even, so that I should be able to account for any uh, rounding errors. Yeah, so, you see, so there'll be no partial credit. If you get it right, you get it right. If you get it wrong, you get it wrong, right? Um, like that. And then, so you have all the questions here. Once you're done, you click Submit. And then you should immediately get the grades. Yeah, so it'll say, okay, correct. And yeah, I think for this, um, my, just me screwing around here, I, I made the correct answer too with a margin of uh, 0 0.2, so that's 10%. So yeah, usually if you're rounding things, it wouldn't be 10% off. Um, it wouldn't be more than 10% off. So if I uh, design it with some margin of 10%, um, you, uh, usually I would account for everyone. But of course I can, I can uh, go back in and change things if, um, if there's some error later. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah, any questions? Let's see. Uh, if you have questions, put it in, in, in public. Uh, don't send me private so someone can uh, answer for me if possible. Um, is there any chance to save? This means all multiple choice questions. Yeah, either multiple choice or or numerical answers like this with no partial credits, right? So how many questions are in the mock final? So roughly, um, uh, roughly the length of three tests, topic tests. Um, uh, so roughly six short answers and three open response. Uh, do you type the units? Yeah, I think probably I will have to specify what units you use. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, that, that's, the that's the part where it takes time to design this quiz, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, try it. but that's a good point. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, do we need a cheat sheet for this mock exam? Yeah, so do it almost like, like a final, basically follow the same rules as the final exam. Uh, um, so you can use a cheat sheet, uh, which will shortly bring me to, um, are you guys seeing my screen by the way? Just double checking. Zoom usually have a green bar. Okay, good, around it, but disappeared. So I don't know if it's still sharing. Okay, good, thanks. Um, yeah, all right. So that's that. Um, yeah, any questions about, that's a, I'll, I'll confirm if I can do that uh, part tomorrow. Mock final is the same Zoom link uh, as the final. Um, yeah, I'll yeah I'll make it the same. Yeah, uh, um, but I think I'll it'll be a different link from the from from the week five lecture. So I'll I'll put it here. Yeah, good question. Thank you. Uh, do we have to turn in a cheat sheet for mock to be confirmed as well? Uh, good question. Let me answer that tomorrow. <laughs> um, you can see how much I've thought this through. <laughs> uh, so halfway. Um, all right. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Good point. Um, the time. Um, so uh, because so okay. So first of all, it's optional. Um, if you don't want to show up, it's your decision. Um, if if you don't want to show up for, for anything, it's your decision. I'll highly encourage you to show up for the final. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's up to you if you want to show up here. Now. Um, I'm planning to make it at uh, 8 a.m. So first of all, it's the same time here. So you even get your sleep schedule right, hopefully. <laughs> um, and secondly, uh, because it's more similar to the original lecture time, so that is more fair because I know by me ch uh, us changing to this um, evening schedule, uh, some people might not have be able to make it as a result. So, um, now, um, I'll give you up to Tuesday, I'll send a Slack announcement as well. I'll give you up to tomorrow noon. So basically before tomorrow's discussion session, um, to let me know if anyone really wants to do this but cannot do Friday 8 a.m. Um, if I have probably more than one or two, um, which I, because I need to make this fair, if, it, if, if this is potentially replaceable with the final exam, um, I have a duty to make this uh, fair for everyone to be able to um, attend it, um, then I will make it, unfortunately, Thursday 8 a.m. Okay? And uh, I think that has to be fair because um, by you registering with this class, you are the, the, the moment you register and enroll to this class, you're basically agreeing that you, you should be free for you know, the lecture time. So if I move it there, uh, no one should have any excuse that it's not fair um, to a Thursday AM. Now, of course, now it means there's one, one less day to prepare for it. So of course, I know most of you will probably want Friday 8 AM. So yeah, um, so I'll, I'll make a Slack announcement and let me know if anyone really wants to take this but cannot make it for Friday 8 AM. If I don't hear anything by tomorrow uh, noon, Tuesday noon, tomorrow, uh, September 1st, and uh, then I'll confirm and make that on Friday. There's just so much to think about. That's why I, it took me so long to confirm these. So thank you for 
uh, your patience. Um, the cheat sheet, I think I've just answered that. Uh, you said before, something like a cushion with a grade B possible. Uh, yes, exactly. So at the end, I'll see which one is higher. Um, so I think Canvas has a feature I can just uh, take the higher out of the two. Yeah, so it is like a cushion. But I, I think, I, I, I expect almost 90% of you should do better on the final because number one, you have more days to prepare. Number two, it, you're graded on partial credit. If here, uh, if your number is wrong, it's wrong. But don't let that discourage you, right? That's the, that's the whole point, right? For basically giving you a try, a dry run. Yeah, all right, so that's that. Uh, what else? Okay, yeah, so, yeah, all right, good. Um, so, uh, someone asked me, can I go through more about the cheat sheet earlier? Um, everything is here, so can you let me know what your question is? I guess I don't want to go through every single thing here. Um, so uh, sorry for this long document, I genuinely apologize, <laughs> but it's just to make sure uh, we have everything um, fair for uh, everyone. Um, I really trust you guys. I don't think you guys would cheat, but um, all, all my colleagues are telling me it does happen and we have to, and, and if it does happen, it just makes it extremely unfair for people who put in the hard work. So it, we do have to put the, um, <laughs> have uh, all the rules here. So the easy way out for a lot of professors is to just do respondents. But over the past few weeks, I've been asking a lot of uh, students and getting feedback. So what do they think about respondents um, compared to just uh, having uh, Zoom proctoring? And I think it's overwhelmingly, um, uh, people think that there's less pressure, um, less anxiety uh, if we don't use responders. So, um, so the anxiety is transformed over here. <laughs> there's a conservation of anxiety. Um, it doesn't completely go away, but hopefully um, it's just everyone understand the rule, we'll follow it and we'll have no problem, right? Um, all right, so a few key things is, uh, yes, you do need a quiet room. I mean, just like responders, you, you have, it doesn't mean that if we're not using responders, it doesn't mean that you can have a, a rave party behind you going on. <laughs> um, so uh, I know some of you have uh, pets at home. Um, to see if you can make an arrangement just for you know this hour uh, to uh, to be able to make it as quiet as possible. Of course, other people can turn off the volume, you know, just like that. But you know, you just, just you don't want to disturb yourself as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I don't mind if a cat comes in front of the camera, but <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, um, responders might mind, but I won't mind. But yeah, yeah just just uh, be aware of that. Um, definitely, no people walking around. Uh, family members try try your best to find a um, a, a basement or a. <laughs> or a loft or a rooftop or somewhere you can uh, have some uh, have a quiet place to to work right uh, so some suggestions just to make sure your internet is as stable as possible um, and I'll point out a few extra thing um, also no background no green screen uh, it's, it's the same idea I don't want someone having all the whole textbook printed out behind them <laughs> and basically have all the notes you know that's not right yeah okay um, and uh, just like a real exam, make sure your phone, you can put it next to you, uh, make sure it's turned off um, so that doesn't ring or anything. Um, so just like normal in-person exam rules of doing that, uh, or same as responders, um, until the last 10 minutes where you're supposed to upload. So you'll probably realize that uh, the uploading time is 10 minutes now instead of five minutes, uh, like the tablet test, because it's longer, you, you probably have more um, paper to take pictures. So um, that should be enough. And again, if, you, if you're one or two minutes past the deadline, we, we probably, we won't, we won't be that strict to deduct your points um, as long as you know, it, as long as it's something reasonable. But don't take advantage of that. So the, the rule is ten minutes. But, um, yeah, but if you if you're you know thirty seconds late or sixty seconds past or even two minutes, you know that that that's fine. Um, but if you are you know, fifteen minutes past <laughs> the supposed deadline, then I'll start to have questions. But, um, yeah. All right. Um, and let's see. So did someone have questions about the cheat sheet? Oh, thank you. Uh, do you have to merge the pictures into a single PDF? Is that for cheat sheet? Uh, do you have to merge the picture into a single PDF? Yeah, uh, merge into a single PDF, um, like as a cheat sheet. Um, yeah. And when you share your screen, uh, make sure you share, uh, I, um, so you should only have the Canvas page and uh, cheat sheet and try to open it via Canvas, okay, uh, if you're using a soft copy. Um, so uh, we know that you're, you're using the pre-approved one. Uh, if you're using a hard copy, we, uh, uh, whoever's proctoring you, um, uh, we'll split everyone into breakout rooms and uh, we'll have around six proctors. So whoever's proctoring you have the right to ask you to um, show your sheet on the, uh, to the camera. You know, it'll take up, take, you, take up 30 seconds of your time um, to verify if we, if we need to. We might do one or two spot checks like that. Um, so keep, keep an eye on your, on your Zoom chat um, if any, if, uh, in case there's any announcements, you know, sometimes there might be a typo in the exam um, that we need to announce uh, like that. So, so keep an eye on that on, on your Zoom chat if we make announcements, especially if you turn down your volume. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, an exam is like a topic test. Yep, exactly. It's like a topic test. 
uh, yes, uh, upload it on on a like write on a line paper. Um, you cannot write on an iPad uh, because we cannot monitor what you're doing on your iPad. So all electronic devices should be turned off. You need to just like topic tests. If you're using topic test using uh, digital tablets on your topic test, you shouldn't be. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, the final exam definitely not. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I've answered most of them, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. So the cheat sheet is um, supposed to be putting in formulas. I think I've answered most of my questions. I don't want to take up too much lecture time. Um, but just what? Uh, yeah. So uh, there are some questions on Piazza. I already answered it, and you can read through this. Um, yeah, so uh, I also it's hard to monitor if people start try to submit it early. I, this is unfortunate, um, but uh, I'll have to make it no early submissions because if people start to um, take their phones out and taking pictures, it's hard to manage a hundred more than hundred people, you know, with early submissions. So uh, unfortunately, uh, don't do that, um, and uh, you know, make any necessary arrangements, um, aka bathroom arrangements and stuff like that uh, beforehand. It's, it's not it's not like a two and a half hour exam. It's, uh, less than a half. An hour. I think it should be fine. If you do need to leave for any reasons, try to contact your proctor as much as uh, if possible. But if it's an emergency, um, we'll understand and we'll give you that leeway. Um, if you aren't absent for too long, we'll still be okay. But if you're gone. If you're, yeah, I, okay, I won't go through too much details because everything is on here. Um, so please uh, take a read through this and then, um, so download this and sign this. Um, you can use one of the online tools to do that or uh, whatever you like. You can print it out and take a picture. Either way, I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page and then you will go to assignment um, and upload this agreement or this contract to uh, here. Uh, so yeah, I, I've made it. I haven't activated this yet, just in case. I just want to see if there's any questions, such as some good questions here tonight, um, just to make sure I make the final version um, finalized before you do that. But I'll have this page open. Um, this is a assignment that doesn't count to find a grade, right? It's just for your signature, just to make sure everyone understand everything. All right, so uh, laptop overheat when on Zoom it's during topic test, which you do if your laptop shuts down. Um, I, if you uh, so yeah, read the read the instructions here. If you if it's shut down, try to try to restart it and rejoin the session as as soon as possible. Let's see where is this. Um, and uh, if you're gone for more than 15, 15 minutes, I really cannot in good conscience um, be claim that that is fair to others because I, I although I trust that most of you are not intentionally trying to treat but cheat but. Um, uh, yeah, so if, if you're, con if, because if you're registered here, just like tonight, if you come in with a registered link, I have a report to see how long you're, uh, we, we have been proctoring you. So if you're gone less than that, we'll still assume it's okay. Um, I don't think uh, you can do much in 15 minutes, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, but if it's more than that, uh, we'll probably have to, um, not, not saying you're cheating, but just for fairness, we'll need to give you a re, um, makeup exam. I hope none of that will happen, honestly, because I don't want to write another exam. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully everyone follows the rules and it should be fine. All right. 